Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my April update to both of the face palettes that I am currently trying to pan. For the second year in a row, I am working on my Cover FX Perfector Face Palette in the shade Light to Medium, and this year I decided to add in my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette. So I have a very exciting update for you, so let's go ahead and just jump right on into my progress. I'll pop pictures up here on the screen. The picture on the left is what my palette looked like last month. The picture on the right is what it looks like currently, and let's go over the total number of uses I have on each one of these products over the past month. I have 13 uses in the shade Starlight, and as you can see, I was able to hit pan in that shade. I have eight uses in the shade Divine, and as you can see, I was able to hit pan in that highlighter as well. I have one use in the Franken highlighter. I have 21 uses in the shade Sublime, and as you can see, I was finally able to hit pan in this blush. So I'm super happy about that. Now let's go ahead and switch the pictures. The palette on the left is what it looked like at the beginning of January this year. The palette on the right is what it looks like currently, and let's go over the number of uses I have on each one of these products. I have 20 uses in the shade Starlight. 19 uses in the shade Divine, 15 uses in the Franken Highlighter, and 47 uses in the shade Sublime. Like I said, this is a super exciting update. I'm so happy I finally have pan in this blush. I actually hit pan today doing my makeup. So this one I have used not only as a blush, but today I used it as a transition shade in this pink look. The pink that I have in my Pan That Palette is a hot pink, and this one tones it down quite a bit. So I take this blush, use it as my first transition shade, and that helps mellow out that hot pink, and that's how I got this eye look right here. I think if I hadn't been using it as a transition shade, I still would not have Pan on that blush. However, I figured since I need a pink matte eyeshadow, I might as well reach for my blush because I am trying to finish it this year. It took me a total of 240 uses to hit pan in this blush. That is insane, but it's there. I finally have pan. I did set the goal last month to try to hit pan in both of these highlighters, and as you can see, I was able to do that. Just a little bit of pan, but that's okay. It'll probably quickly expand. These are both repressed, and so there isn't a lot of product in each one of these pans. Now let's take a look at the weights. Over the past month, I was able to use up 0.54 grams worth of product out of this palette, so a little bit over half of a gram. If I take that weight loss and I add it together with the rest of the weight loss from this palette since I started working on it January of last year, I have finished up 13.32 grams worth of product out of this palette. So I am very excited about that. Seeing the pan in this blush actually gives me hope that I can have maybe half of it done by the end of the year. <laughs> I hope I'm kidding. I hope that I can have this finished by the end of the year, but there is still so much product left in this pan. It's crazy. We'll have to see how much more product I can use up over the next several months. So now let's jump on over to my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette. I'll go ahead and pop pictures up on the screen. The palette on the top is what it looked like last month. The palette on the bottom is what it looks like currently. And let's go over the number of uses I have on these shades. I have 14 uses on the shade Halo, 14 uses on the shade Carrot, and 15 uses on the shade Princess Cut. And I did not use the last two shades in the palette. Now let's switch the pictures. The picture on the top is what it looked like at the beginning of January. Picture on the bottom is what it looks like currently, and let's go over the total number of uses on each of these products since the beginning of the year. I have 39 uses on the shade Halo, 35 uses on the shade Carrot, 40 uses on the shade Princess Cut, and I have not used the last two items in this palette. So, so far I don't have any pans in this palette, but I'm hoping if I maybe tilt the angles, you can see some of the dips. It doesn't want to, it's probably because it's so lit with my ring light. However, I have decent dips actually going in this one and all three of these. 
I can see it if I tip the palette, but this one actually has the largest dip in it, and I wouldn't be surprised if I hit pan in that one. I don't say think in the next month, but probably the month after that. It is going actually pretty quickly. I take a small brush and I tap this underneath my eyes to set down my concealer and it works really well. It is a beautiful color uh, for me and it does match really well right now. So that is how I am using this up. This matte bronzer right here, I actually use this one as a transition shade anytime I try to do neutral eye looks. It is a light brown that works really well for that. And I don't have this shade in any of the palettes that I'm currently trying to work on. So I reach for that one as a transition shade and it works really well for that purpose. And then of course, when I do my bronzer, I take Princess Cut, the one I just swatched here. I mix it together with the shade Carrot, which is right there. Carrot's more of a shimmery bronzer. I blend the two of those together and then this is what I use to contour my cheeks with. So very pretty shades. Looking at the weight of this palette over the past month, I have used up 1.08 grams, which is my best month so far. I'm really pleased with that progress. If I add that to the rest of the weight loss this palette has had since the beginning of January, I've used up 2.46 grams worth of product, which is quite a bit, but I think each one of these pans is four and a half grams. So that means I'm a little over halfway through the weight loss of one pan. So this palette is going to take me a long time to finish up and that is okay. It is my oldest face palette, so I don't mind. I'm happy that I'm using it. It still smells amazing. It still has that light chocolate scent. I love the scent of this palette. As far as any goals go for this palette, I'm just gonna keep working on the three shades that I'm working on. I'm hoping I can have pan in Halo. It probably won't happen, like I said, this month, maybe the next, but that is the goal I'm working towards. And then next, I think Princess Cut, this lighter one right here is probably the next one to have pan after the shade Halo. I think I've shared all the numbers with you that I need to share. I have been waiting for the update when I could finally say that I have pan in my blush. I'm so happy that I can now finally say that and that I have hit pan in every single one of these products in this palette. So now the goal is to just keep working on them and hopefully finish some of them up. That is my entire update. I hope you enjoyed this. If you stay tuned till the end of the video, I do have a slideshow starting with the beginning of January from this year, just showing the progress on these two palettes over the past couple of months. Before you go, if you haven't, I hope that you please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by.